Hi there, and here is a piano that I developed using Lua with Corona SDK. Okay, so what I will now do is uh, let me take you guys straight into Lua so that you see how I've managed to put this together using Corona SDK. So let's go into Lua now. Here is how the piano system was created. I start by clicking on a new project and let's just call it piano. I will save it on my desktop. Click on OK. Next thing is make sure the blank option is selected and change the default orientation. Let's change that to sideways click on ok there as you can see there's nothing here and that's the file generated by corona sdk right here but before i start let me just paste the music tones i intend to use right there there they are and the next thing i would I'll do is uh, to copy and paste the images I intend to use as the piano keys so let's do that now okay let's copy the images there they are so I'm just gonna copy them copy and close it and paste them right inside the folder that was created by Corona SDK those are the images I intend to use for this tutorial so and those are the names now let's minimize that we can now click on launch nothing will happen though but let's go to the file and open the project editor right there and now that the editor is open the first thing I intend to do is to work on getting rid of this status bar i don't really need it so let's get rid of those to the status bar so to get rid of the status bar i will be entering the following lines of code but then let's just get rid of this comment right there we start by saying display dot status bar set status bar open the bracket display dot hidden status bar right there okay let's get rid of that then I will send error alright there so the next thing is I want the local let me get the local there and get the widgets that's my variable for my widgets and I require request let's request widget there I needed the widget for the bottom really but just before I get the button let's let me get the sound in so let's go for C might as well make that uppercase C equals that is for the very first music tone I intend to use dot media okay new event new event sound and the sound I intend to call in this case is C dot wave okay that's the very first sound there okay the next thing is to declare the is to declare the button that we actually be used to play this C self so the button in this case is C okay so that's the local variable that I've declared for that now let's get the button itself in place so for us to get a button in place I'm going to declare another local variable this local variable in this case let me just call it button underscore C equals widget 
dot new button right there and let's enter it into a table okay now I need the default the default button in this case would be so the default button now be the a dot png okay that's my default button there now I then need the rollover button which is over the function is over equals I call that a dot a a a and the uh, close that now comma I also need the function will be key press key press when the key is pressed I want this button press I want it to be activated right there and I think that is all and we enter a comma there okay when we run it this is where the button is is working but we need to now take care of the coordinates so let's sort of like come down here and the coordinates of this button in this case will be button C which is this very one okay dot that will be for the x axis equals let's go for minus 15 column button c dot y axis equals 160 now if I save that let's just save it and minimize this Okay, bring this down. Okay, click on relaunch. You see that that has moved to position. All right, so let's just move this aside. So the next thing I'll do now is just see that. Good. I'm just going to copy this. Copy all of this. Or oh, let's just create more music there really let's create more of this to get the rest of the sound in place and just change and just change the values in there so this is D and this is E change that to E and change this to D those are the names of the music okay so let's create two more buttons so I'm just gonna copy all of this we comment this out paste that in there move this down and change this to capital D uppercase D D D right there and a D here and yeah that's fine I'm using the same image so I leave that then we add 50 to this that will give us 35 so minus 15 plus 50 that will be 35 right and in this case this will become a D as well D as well right here so if I save the file relaunch there we get the second button okay let's repeat exactly the same thing copy now this is for e letter e let me copy these lines as well right there paste and that will be e change that to e E, that's an E, E, and this is an E, E, and an 
okay so let's add 50 to this that should give us 85 let's go for 85 and save relaunch and that is okay so I will now speed that up and get back to you guys okay now I have all the music tune in place so I'm just gonna speed it up and get all the rest of the buttons in place so I'll copy it from all the way from here down let's take it down I have three of those in place already let's copy it and uh, enter comment there paste the rest one and just change it to round all I'm just changing uh, the different names so this one will now be that will be an F and this one will be F as well okay so I'll just pick that up and get back to you guys as soon as it's done but as you can see it's all the same lines of codes let's do that now okay this is how the lines of codes are looking right now so those are the variable look at variable declare for all the music tunes and if I come right down here I have button C button D E F button G button A button B button C1 button D1 button A1 and button F so since I've saved it all I just need to do is to click on launch and there those are all of the music tones I think one more button is missing because I seems to have 10 here I want it to be 11 so let's check that out but then let's just try it and see okay let's get this sorted okay right here no button is missing but I have the wrong coordinate so that will be that should be 485 so click on ok I'll just save it first and just reload and there there we go okay what is now left is the other buttons up there I don't know what they call but those are what is left so let's get that sorted I'm just gonna copy this copy this very one here and right here paste it right underneath right there so the button in this case let me move it up a little bit the button in this case I'm gonna call that C S so that button C S which is supposed to be for C sharp and just change this around paste that be the same thing here okay that's the variable that I'm using for all these buttons and I use the CS to so that I can identify which button I'm talking to okay now I have that in place and the name I need to change that to B B lowercase and this one becomes b uppercase b and to lowercase b that, that those are the names of my buttons let's see let me show it to you guys there they are b and i have b b b yeah okay so we now need to take care of the coordinates in this case that should be 10 by 90 according to my calculation so let's 
starting somewhere here up to somewhere here 90 that's where it will be so save that and launch it there you see that guys so okay so I'm just gonna copy that now I know my Y axis so just copy that paste that right underneath here I need six more really so there's one there so all I need is now five actually and just change this to D make that D another D here right change this to D D that is D S music notes D S okay so we now need to take care of the coordinate the coordinate in this case according to my calculation this should be 62 62 by 90 just save and relaunch yeah guys you see that so I'll now speed that up and just get back to you okay I'll finish coding so let me just show it to you guys as the rest of it and those are the lines of code for the buttons above so take that up now you can see that as the rest of the codes and all the way up so what I'll do next is just save it save and there I'm ready to launch launch it there we go guys so if I click on that we get that guys and that's how you develop your own app using Lower programming language with Corona SDK. So with that, I'll just call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you all enjoyed. So you all have a nice day now.